Hello everyone, I am Karina Chin with KarinasCreations.com and I want to welcome you to my Facebook Live video today. I'll wait a few minutes to let people jump on, but today I'm going to show you how to make these three cards. I thought they were really fun and they are free. These card three card kits will be free when you place an online order with me this month. Um, a $60 online order and then I will just send these kits in the mail to you and I'll show you how they how to put them together right away. I thought that would be kind of fun today and Stampin' Up! has a special on as well when you order $60 this month. You get a $6 bonus coupon to use on an August order. So that is super exciting because in August is when the brand new holiday catalog will launch. So I see a few people are coming on. Hello, Joy. Hello, Betty. I'm so happy you're joining me today. Thank you so much for watching. Now, I decided to host a catalog kickoff party next Thursday, which is going to be on August the 6th, and I'm going to run it until Saturday, August the 8th. Now, if you love this stuff that you're seeing, um, well, I'll give you a sneak peek of one thing, then you may want to actually or, uh, order on August the 4th because that's when the catalog is live. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, and I see Bilkis is here and Leona's here. Hello, Leona. I'm so glad you guys are, you're joining me. Let's see, Leona says these cards are pretty. Yeah, these are beautiful. And I did make this one here, and then two of them are swaps. And that's the reason I do swaps, is I get to see so many fun things. I love seeing what people create. So I was mentioning, save the date, August 4th. New catalog goes live. Now, if you haven't got your new catalog yet, leave me a message on this post or send me an email and I'll make sure that you get one. I'm going to be handing the rest out this week so you have them next week. Uh, place your order on August the 1st or at the catalog kickoff party. And the catalog kickoff party, I'm going to be doing a Facebook Live on Thursday night and on Saturday. I'll be doing the make and take demonstration. So it should be a lot of fun. Okay, the other thing I wanted to mention is I'm having a Lazy Days of Summer Stamp Camp, which is going to be Saturday, August 22nd. It's going to be $55. It's going to include $35 in product, and it's going to be based around two, two stamp sets. So one of the stamp sets will be the Love of Leaf stamp set, and I'll explain more about this after the fourth, and then the other one will be Life is Beautiful. And they will be add-ons to the class. So I'll be sending out an email about that as well. If you're not on my email list, you might want to sign up because that's how I advertise all my classes. And I'm pretty excited about it. The other thing I wanted to share is that whenever you like or share my video, it really, really helps me out. And then hopefully helps me to meet new people as well who want to stamp with me. So I put your name into a draw whenever you like or share a video. And this week it was Kim. So Kim Lewis, you have won the drawing. So I'm going to put a package of rhinestone basic jewels in the mail for you. And hopefully you can make use of these. These are my all-time favorite product because everything is better with a little bit of bling. At least I think so. And hi, Bilkis. I see you put hi, Karina. Hello, hello. And I have an order for you, Bilkis. So I have to get that to you. It's super fun. Okay, I think that's all I wanted to talk about. Bonus days coupon ending July 31st. August 4th is a new catalog. My Lazy Days of Summer Stamp Camp. And then I think we're ready to get stamping. Okay, so there's, a, there's some of you who will be getting these kits in the mail. And I think I'm going to start with this one. So this one is the... Let's pull this out. Blossoms in Bloom stamp set and then it has these amazing dies and I know I've demonstrated this a lot in the past so you may not need any more information on it. If you wanted to order any of the products I'm showing you today I am placing my last order on Friday July 31st by 2 p.m. You can add on to my order or you can go to karinachan.stampinup.net and place your own order. Or just give me a call and I'll help you with it. Okay, so I wanted to share Blossoms in Bloom because... How did I flag it for you guys? I put one flag here. 
And then this one here. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is just so fun with all this stuff. Okay, put blossoms. Okay, check this out. Blossoms in bloom. Here's the inspiration for the card right there. So I just changed it up a little bit, but that's where I got it from. So the bundle's actually $81.75. And this is how we're going to make this card. So I'm going to pull out my little card kit. That looks like this. So this is what you get in the mail from me. And I started coloring this already just to save a little bit of time. So I've already cut your pieces for you. I've already put your Whisper White uh, cardstock. This is four inches by five and a quarter in the ornate garden embossing folder and I've embossed it. Okay, I see more people are here. Sharon's here. Hello, Sharon. Kim is here. Hello, Kim. And Joy's here. Kim, you won a prize, so I'm popping it in the mail to you. You won some rhinestones, so I'm pretty sure you should PM me your address again. I think I still have it. But if not, let me know, because I have to go to the post office today. I've got a few things to mail. Okay, here we go. So all I'm doing is just attaching that to my card base. And again, the card base is just five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. So super easy. And then I colored this already with my stamp and write markers. Because when you get the dies, one cuts out an outline shape. And then one cuts out more of a solid flower image. And I thought it would take too long to sit and watch me color. You can sit and watch me color the other part. And then I'm just going to peel this off. Now I have this one I think I put on a sticker sheet. Got to get it going now. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And I shouldn't call it a sticker sheet. It's um, adhesive backed. I'll put it in my post. Adhesive sheets, that's what it is, adhesive sheets. And when you place my Whisper White cardstock on the adhesive sheet and cut out the die, it turns it into a sticker. So that's why I call it sticker sheets. Or I don't a lot of times use it for this piece because it's very easy to take your liquid glue and just apply it to the back. Okay, so let's turn my card this way. Let's put this up here so that you can see it. And then I'm just putting it down like this. Isn't that easy? I have done all the work for you, so you can just have fun creating. Okay, now all these were colored with stamp and write alcohol markers. This frame is kind of what I want to work with, and I'm going to turn it so it matches. And I have used Flirty Flamingo Light and Dark. This one is Bermuda Bay. Uh, Bermuda Bay, and I think I used Pool Party for the base. If you don't have any of our alcohol markers, I'd really consider treating yourself because they are just amazing. I can't say anything about else about them. I think it's one of the tools that uh, you may want to invest in. I can't live without mine. And I'm just gonna color this really quickly for you to show you how my card goes together. Okay, you guys can tell me if I miss any spots on this. So I'm pretty excited about my August class that I'm going to be offering. I did a sizzling summer retreat this summer, or back in early July, and it was a lot of fun. So it's going to be similar to that. I really enjoy making the pillow gifts for everybody, so I'm going to do that again. Because that is just way too fun. Only this time it's going to be fall themed. Uh, let's see, for this flower, I'm going to use Mango Melody just to make it add a bit more color on it. You could use Dark Daffodil Delight. You know, really when you're doing this, you kind of do whatever you want, right? Color it whichever way. But I'll try to do it quickly because I'm sure it's such a beautiful day outside. Who's going for a walk or something today? What do you think? Well, I mixed up these colors, but that's okay. We'll really change it up. Yeah, it's such a beautiful day out that I think I will go for a walk as well. Oh, I can't wait to see how this turned out because I mixed my colors up now. Okay, so this was Dark Calypso Coral. And then I think I used, did I use Dark Flirty Flamingo? Yes, I did. Can't wait to see how this is going to turn out. Okay, this was supposed to be pink, but that's okay. You know what? I'm just going to go a little rogue. 
and I don't think this was supposed to be pink. But you know what? It's going to look awesome. It's going to be all good. Okay, what other colors do I need? This one we're going to do uh, mango again because I have it out here. There we go. The fun thing about this is every card you make is going to be a little bit different. Right? And then you can kind of create with it. So that's kind of fun. Okay, I think we'll just go like this. We'll just keep going with these colors just to finish it off. And what's this one going to be? I think I want to make it pink again. Let's just make it dark flirty flamingo again. So not quite the same as my other card, but, you know, you get the idea. Okay, there we go. And now I just have one more to color, and I'm going to use Dark Old Olive. Ooh, look at this fuzzy tip, you guys. I must have been using this for one of my classes, I have a feeling. I just invested and replaced all my Stampin' Right markers. Not all of them. I guess I should say my most well-used colors. So Old Olive, I would have to say, out of all my colors, that is the one I use the most. Okay, ready to see what this looks like? Hopefully it looks cute. I hope. Okay, let's see if I can get the corner going. Okay, here we go. And I find if you just bend it back on itself, most of the pieces come out. So don't sit there and stick, you know, poke all the pieces out right away. Because I have a few pieces left, you can see, but not a lot. And we'll just pull them out from the back. The other thing I did this morning was I made homemade jam. Um, with, what are they, Ling Cherries? Is that what they are? Ling Cherries, I think. Unfortunately, they didn't uh, set, so now I've got syrup, so I have to go back later this afternoon and reboil everything. But I do make jam, which is really fun. Anybody else make jam? Seeing what everybody else is doing. Oh, Carolyn's here. Hello, Carolyn. Carolyn says, I wondered how that was done. Thanks for showing this. Yeah, it's a little deceiving. This looks a lot harder than it is. It just takes a little bit of time to color, but it's pretty fun, hey? I think it's pretty fun. And you just use whatever colors you feel like coloring. I just had two little sticky bits here that I wanna pull off. Come on, sticky bit, there we go. Okay, here we go. What do you think, isn't that pretty? And then see how I have this little bit that shouldn't be there? You just use your take a pick tool and you pick it out. Okay, there we go. I'll pick it out after while well, you guys aren't sitting watching me. Okay, so very similar to the colors I did before. My flowers are a bit lighter, but you know, you get the idea. Okay, the other thing I've included in your kit is a piece of basic black cardstock that's been cut out by one of the stitch shaped dies. I have to go back and take a look. At what I used can't remember and I'm using the hello that comes with the blossoms in bloom stamp set and I'm going to stamp it with Versamark ink now if you don't have Versamark ink you can just cut yourself a white uh, white rectangle and you don't have to emboss it I just kind of liked the look of the black on the card and then my whisper white Embossing powder, I just keep it in a Ziploc Rubbermaid thing container and we'll give it a whack whack. This is where the embossing buddy used to be really handy. You have some powder here, you can go like this. And again, I think I've mentioned that a friend of mine puts cornstarch in pantyhose and uses it as an embossing buddy, which is an anti-static tool. But uh, I was gonna do that today and it just didn't happen. Okay, let's heat this up with my heat tool until the powder melts. And that's it. Easy peasy. If you were new to stamping, one of the biggest wows that I ever found when I first started stamping was embossing. And all you need is a heat tool, some Versamark ink, and a couple colors of powder. And if you get a white and maybe a metallic powder, you can make beautiful cards, especially since Christmas is coming. Has anybody started on their Christmas cards yet? That is what I would like to know. 
I'm going to run a Christmas stamp camp at the end of August. And then hopefully I'll cut myself some cards and get ahead. Okay, now I'm just going to use these metallic pearls. I'm going to put one here. I don't know if I can get under it. I should have left it on the sheet. So when you get your kit from me, I do give you these three metallic pearls. And I'm just putting them on my card. Okay, so that was the first card completed. Isn't that easy? And then you can feel free to do something with that. You know, you've got extra little bits. Okay, so that's the first one done. ta -dum. Let me go like this. Whoops. I got a bit of stickage, you guys. A little pearl stickage going on here. Okay, that's not a word, but you know what I mean. There we go. Okay, now the next card I'm going to show you how to make. Let's work on this one. I think this one's really pretty. This was a swap from somebody, and I'm sorry, I have no clue who sent me that card. So I do apologize. This is not my design, you guys. But this uses the amazing Forest Forever Greenery product suite. Now, I just tried to order this for a friend today. The bundle is back ordered until August the 17th. And then on August the 17th, you can actually get your stuff again. So it's the stamp set and the dies. The paper, the designer series paper is gorgeous. The ribbon is gorgeous. This whole product suite you could buy for $143 after August 17th. So when the new catalog goes live on August the 4th, there's always a few, there's already a few things that are a little, I'm not going on back order, but they're running out of supplies already. And that's the snow, uh, snowflake sequins, I believe. And I'd have to check the list. Designer series paper, but things do sell out fast. Now, can you guys see in your kit that you get this beautiful little embossed part? They're the new uh, mini folders. And they are called the uh, greenery embossing folders. And it just puts a little bit of a leaf design in your card. So how you make this card is you cut it at four inches, or sorry, four and a quarter inches by 11 inches. And you're going to score it at four and a quarter and five and a half, which I did because then when we stick it down, it turns it into a book. Now I've cut this piece of cardstock and this is the designer series paper pack that uh, it's the new, what do we have? Brights reach behind me. This is what it looks like. So Stampin' Up! this year has um, come out with new designer series paper. You can get it in the, in the two in colors. You can get it in the bright. You can get it in neutrals, brights, uh, subtles, and I'm missing one. What's the last one, guys? But these are what the patterns look like. Just nice, subtle, simple patterns that'll go with absolutely anything. So I went and got the brights pack, and this is Coastal cabana and it is one inch by four inches oh, one inch by four and a quarter inches and I'm just going to use my stamp and seal I haven't used it for a while so now it needs a little help getting going did you see that guys I'm getting better I am getting better with it and I am using magenta madness ribbon the in color ribbon is back in stock so make sure you purchase it and I, again, I placed an order for a friend today. And um, the ink pads are on low inventory. So make sure if you want the new in colors, you order it today. Don't wait till my Thursday order, get it today. And I'm just gonna put that on like that. I don't run the ribbon all the way behind the paper because most of the ribbon gets covered and ribbon is a little more expensive. So I would rather save my money for stamp sets and other things than just on ribbon wastage. Okay, there we go, and I'll just give it a little trim. Isn't this pretty? This is just such a cheerful summer card. Okay, there we go. So that's the base of the card, and then I gave you a whisper white piece. This is, what is it, three and three eighths by three and three eighths. Okay, and then what's this one? This one is three and one, two, three, four, three and five eighths by three and five eighths. And if you don't like that, just do three and a quarter, right? And three and a half. You don't have to have the measurements exactly the same. Unless you got your kit, then of course it doesn't matter, right?
because you will have the pieces cut for you. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do with this set, this is really fun because look at all the different leaf options that you have and the beautiful sentiments as well. And I love the font in this set. And like, how fun is this? You can do this forever and laughter, love and laughter forever after. It's even got a wedding sentiment. Okay, I think I'm going to start with my Magenta Madness ink pad. Open it up. Did you see how I opened it? Pop at the top pop at the top. I'll show you in a second. Okay, we're going to do this one here. This one at the corner. I also love the fact that this stamp set is rubber. Rubber and not just photopolymer. And that is really nice because uh, you can use your stamp and write markers to actually ink up parts of the leaves. Okay, let's see. Um, in case I wanted like a pink leaf and a green leaf and a granny apple green leaf, you can get a variety of colors and it works really well on rubber type rubber mount stamps as opposed to just photopolymer. Okay, again, pop it at the top. Now, the only reason I can pop at the top is these uh, are well loved, well loved, well used. When you first get them, they're a little bit stiff, a little bit tight. But, you know, that's still okay. Still works good. Okay, so this is going to be Granny Apple Green. I'm just going to put it in the middle like so. And I didn't leave myself a lot of room, so maybe we'll just go like that. Just a little hint of Granny Apple Green. Okay, and then I've given you this piece already. It's been die cut from the... Oh, come on, guys, what is it? In Good Taste Labels. Is that what it is? I told everybody, I can never remember the name of this. Tasteful Label Dyes. I think that we'll have a new catalog and I still won't know the name. But anyway, this piece I use all the time. This is my go-to label stamp set that I've been using lately. Highly recommend it. And I'm just going to stamp hello because everybody needs a hello card right now. So if you're making a card and you're sending it to your friends, why don't you guys post what you are mailing out? I'd love to see what people are creating because I need to get some in the mail as well. I've actually got a stack of mail off to the side of my crafting area and I'm gonna mail some stuff out to my friends. I'm a little behind on birthday cards again. Okay, now I'm just going to that down like this. See this card comes together pretty quickly. I see Val's here. Hello Val. Carolyn says too early for Christmas cards. Yes I know. I I haven't done Christmas cards yet either but end of August I will because I need to start working on it. I am going to be ahead this year. I am bound and determined to get my Christmas cards done and it's not going to be December 1st again this year like I did last year. I'll have no excuse. Okay, what do you think? Cute? Now, this is the kind of fun to, fun thing about this card. You want to make it look like a book. So we need to stick this down. So you can either use your tear and tape adhesive or just use your liquid glue. And you're just putting it on this scored section. I think it's about one and a quarter inches. So we're going to stick that down. Uh, how did I get my catalog hole punched? You know what, Carolyn? It's a... Uh, it's so this catalog, it's not a catalog. It's been photocopied. I photo uh, the photocopy, uh, the catalog was photocopied and hole punched. So that's the only reason I have it like this. Um, one year I did take my catalog to Staples and Staples coil bound it for me, but I didn't try to do it this year. Uh, they charged, I think it was like $5 a catalog. It wasn't cheap, but I did do it. Okay, so what am I doing now? Let's uh, stamp some leaves on the inside. Because it just makes it look so pretty. Right? Then we'll flip it over. I am having adhesive problems today, you girl. You girls, you guys. Okay, there we go. I'll just slow down. I'm trying to make these fast for you. There, what do you think? Super cute. Cute, hey? I just love this set. 
And I love the fact that whoever designed this card just used the leaves. I thought that was really pretty and a simple sentiment. So I thought that was really fun. Okay, we'll make the next card. Let's take a look, see if there's any other comments. Yeah, Val says, hello, hello, Val. I'm so happy you're here, Val. And I'm happy everybody's here watching me. Thank you so much for watching me today. And I really hope that the people who got these card kits in the mail will enjoy making these. I was going to do a PDF, and I just thought a video would be a lot more fun. Because then we can chat a little bit. Okay, now this is a brilliant card. This one is done by Lisa Althaus. I forget, uh, Lisa's in Lethbridge, I believe. She creates beautiful cards, and I just like the, sim the simplicity of this card. Because if you follow my blog at all, I've been making some crazy cards. Not crazy, but really fun cards with this set. Right, because I have my stamp set of the month club where they get the stamp set, and then three card kits. Look at this card. Ooh, again, this was a swap. But don't you just love how the caramel's oozing out of the chocolate? And I forget who this one was from. Does it say on the back? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. And it's just super cute. Anyway, this is really, really easy to put together. As I'm looking here, I see I've got this part ready to go because this was my sample. Can anybody tell me what I'm missing? This will be like an I Spy game. What do you think's missing from my kit? Let's see if anybody gets it. Val, yes, Val, let's stay connected, please. Sharon says, beautiful card. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you. You guys are truly, truly the best. Now, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm getting the missing part of this card. So if you're a new stamper, this is an easy way to cut all your card stocks. First of all, you need to buy a paper cutter, and I highly recommend the Stampin' Up! one. You just take your sheet of cardstock, 8.5 by 11, turn it this way, horizontal, and you are going to cut it at 5.5 inches. Okay, now you have two card bases, so we just need one. Now, if you're new to stamping, you know, just fold it in half, use a bone folder. When you've been stamping for 14 years like I have, I really like a nice crisp crease because I'm a little fussy with my card bases. And that's what the scoring tool does, the scoring blade. So there's a cutting blade and a scoring blade. And it just takes me seconds to do. And the new Stampin' Up! paper trimmer, the blades are really sharp. So I love that. Okay, this card that we're making is done with the Nothing's Better Than bundle. And I tried to put a sticky in this. Look how cute this is. So the bundle is $63.75, which means Stampin' Up! will give you a $6 coupon to use in August. And you can use that on your new catalog. Now you might be thinking, $6? What's a big deal about $6? Well, if you order the three bundles I showed you today, it's going to be $180. So then you actually get... What's three, or you get six times three, $18 off your order. So that is a big deal. So that is pretty exciting. They all add up. All right. Okay, now let's see. This one is here. Why didn't I give myself a full card kit for this demo? I have no clue. No clue. Now I made this piece because this is the builder piece to build all my little cardstock pieces on. So this is the most important piece of the card, and it's three and three quarters by five inches. So step one, you're going to get out your one inch by three and three quarter inch piece. I'm going to go like that. We need to get rid of that because these are dirty. You can't have dirty stamps around. And I need my early espresso ink pad, which is here. I'm going to go like this and get organized. So I've got some space. And again, we're going to pop from the top, which opens this ink pad. And then all I'm going to do is stamp the little chocolate image. I seriously love this stamp set. It is just so cute. Okay, and we're going to do that on the two early espresso pieces. There we go. 
one and two. So there's my chocolate stamping done. I'll just set my sentiment off to the side. And then we have got, this is, I believe, half an inch. And this color is Sahara Sand. So I'm just going to start from the top and we'll just start building it. Now I'm using liquid glue. You can use your stamp and seal. But you guys know I'm a little bit challenged. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. It's hard to teach an old stamp or new tricks. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, that was kind of punny. Maybe not. You get what I mean. Oops, and I pulled it off. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to attach my early espresso piece. So this one is one inch by three quarters of an inch. See how there's this little space? When you guys get your kit, you won't have this. Because I don't know where I got this kit from, but uh, I don't think I cut it properly, this one. It was probably, I have a feeling I had pieces on the floor and thought that oh, I'll just make a kit out of it. But I've got some in actual envelopes ready to go, and I should have grabbed that, but that's okay. I always say you can never screw up a card, so now you guys will actually see how you can never screw up a card. I will fix it up and make it better. Make it better. Okay, let's see. Sharon says card base. Yeah, Sharon, you got it right. I was missing the card base on my card. We had a... Uh, I played bingo... No, we had a games night the other night, and one of the game's challenges was uh, find find five differences in two pictures in stamp sets. Or it was kind of like a bundle page. I don't know. It was kind of fun. Most people got it. It was a little tricky. It took me quite a while when I first uh, did the game to figure out what was missing. But it was fun. Lots and lots of fun. Okay, here we go. And we're almost done. And then I'm going to fix it at the end. I promise you, yours will fit perfectly. So the brilliant thing about this card is that it uses different shades of neutrals. So you have Sahara Sand, um, Early Espresso, Crumb Cake, and Soft Suede. Okay, so there we go. Now can you guys see how there's a little bit of white? Well, that's okay because I'm going to bring out my super paper trimmer and we're going to fix that edge. I'm just going to trim it just a smidge. See how it cuts through that? My old paper trimmer wouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have to do this on yours, but um, that'll teach me for using scraps and not getting a complete kit for my video. Okay, there we go. See, it's fixed. It is all better. Now, what did I say this was? This is, I think I need one that is, oh, let's do three and three quarters by five and a quarter. Mine's going to be a little bit different, but that's okay. I need some white now. So we'll get out a piece of white. Three and three quarters by five and a quarter. So three and three quarters by five and a quarter. Three and three quarters by five and a quarter. Ta-da! Okay, that took me forever, but you get what I mean, right? It's done. Okay, so now I have this bigger piece that you're going to mount on here. There we go. There, I am good with this. What do you think? That was almost painful watching me make that, don't you think? Almost. Hey, but I still think it looks really pretty. See, isn't that easy? Okay, so now the only thing that you need to finish off with is the sentiment. So this set has tons of different com um, different combinations that you can make you know you could say uh, today's plan consume coffee 
uh, cocktails because adulting is hard. Like there's just so many fun, sort of funny sentiments that you can make with this. I'm just gonna copy this one that I got for swap. So first of all, we're just gonna stamp chocolate and the early espresso. And then I'm using crumb cake ink. And again, pop from the top. Uh, you're just like chocolate. You make everything better. Oh my gosh. Isn't that a nice saying? There we go. This would be such a fun card to give to a friend. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way. And now we're going to get some dimensionals. And we'll pop these on. So I'm going to start doing this probably once a month where people who play $60 online orders with me will get a separate class in the mail. I'll send you the three cards and then that way you're getting something unless I have an amazing online ordering special. But I just think people who place online orders and don't attend my regular classes should get something as well. A little treat. Okay, and the only thing I need to finish this off is we're using a metallic gold pearl and I should show you that uh, this is one of my favorite things they come in a package of two like this when you order them okay don't look at that one that is a mystery one you get a package of silver and a package of gold and I just love it because it goes with everything you know this is up there with my favorite rhinestones that I use all the time and it just seems to add a little bit of interest to your card when you add a little tiny embellishment and you get a lot and they're not that much 950 maybe I'm guessing but you can see how quickly that card came together considering I didn't even have the pieces cut correctly and that's what it looks like so when you get your kits like I said in the mail you'll get an envelope it's got all the pieces you can refer back to this video to put your cards together so you get a kit for that one and a kit for this one using Forever Fern and then the beautiful flower card that we did this month. So that's the class this month. I hope you enjoy it. If you wanted to place an order before the end of August, you can go to karinachin.stampinup.net and it'll take you to my website or just leave me a message or give me a call and I'm happy to help you with your order. And like or share my video and I will enter your name into a draw next week. And I really hope I can see you next on August the 6th to the 8th for my catalog kickoff party. My next Tuesday Facebook Live is actually going to be um, an unboxing of all my supplies that I got from the new catalog. So that'll be lots of fun. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!